Howdy, 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 my beautiful Sagittarius. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today, honey, we're going to get into your weekly tarot reading, Sagittarius, for June 2022, darling. All right, so if you enjoy this tarot reading here today, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Sagittarius is completely free to do, darling, and it helps me out a lot, so why wouldn't you, right? Um, as well as be sure to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign, Sagittarius, because that is how you get the most fulfilled message for you personally when it comes to consuming general tarot readings on YouTube or wherever you consume your media. Uh, it's, that's how you want to cater the energy to specifically to your charts. So incorporate more than just your sun sign. But uh, yeah, Sagittarius, let's just get right into this tarot reading, darling. All right. The day that I'm recording this and uploading it, Sagittarius, it's going to be the full moon or it is, or rather it is. I have a hiccup coming. It is Sagittarius, the full moon in Sagittarius, darling. So be sure to you do your rituals, honey. You probably are feeling your most empowered right now and the uh, following days afterwards with that really powerful energy. So really, um, you're probably out of any time, Sagittarius. You're feeling your oats, honey. OK, so let's take a look here, darling. We have here the Hierophant, the Seven of Pentacles coming in here, as well as the Two of Wands coming in here. All right. So, and then in the back of the deck here, we got the Queen of Swords here. So I really want to be celebrating you guys right now, Sagittarius, in the sense that you guys are, uh, you guys have really invested into um, the long term here. You're not looking for instant gratification, Sagittarius. Something shifted in your own perspective of where it's just like, it's like for you, Sagittarius, you know that the gratification that you're going to have later down the road is going to be worth all the effort and the uh, strictness that you're having to exude as that Queen of Swords currently. All right. Um, I feel that for you guys right now, you guys, Sagittarius, are like getting honest with yourself and you know, you're looking in the mirror and you're just like, you know what, what do I want to create for myself? Like by the end of this year, rather than looking for those sense of instant gratifications of thinking about like what it is that you could do right now to win, you guys are leaning more so towards your actions and investing your energy into things just for the long term year, right? You have the 10 of swords coming in here in the back of the deck here, which to me now, Sagittarius, leads me to believe that you guys are breaking some really toxic cycles that you've always had with yourself here. I want to be surprised if some of you Sagittarius are really starting to um, develop like new habits for yourself, maybe some of you guys have got yourself into a new diet, new health perspective, uh, Sagittarius, uh, for some of you and then others of you, I see you, you, some of you guys having to just put up a lot of boundaries with people. All right. Just having to close things off. And it's almost like this sense of like, you're really solidifying your decision and like keeping distance between you and the situations that have brought you pain and trauma. It's like you guys, a lot of you Sagittarius are just like looking at those situations and being like, you know, Know what this is not going this is not fulfilling now and i don't see me developing this relationship this situation anymore by the end of this year or like three years down the road because again sagittarius you guys are thinking about the bigger picture on things right you're thinking about where you're putting your roots and so um naturally with that it's like some of you guys are just being a little bit more critical about who you commit to who you show tell your truths to your secrets to sagittarius uh you're thinking about um the projects that you're even doing right you're even asking yourself being like all right is this do, is this going to provide for me in the long term your priorities are shifting here all right this gives me very much so Sagittarius some of you guys might have been thinking about I know it's really specific Sagittarius but I get the sense that some of you guys like are being pushed to like growing like your own garden um taking more control of like your own personal um uh, wealth right and not just wealth in like the literal sense of your like your finances but your like your food um it's like you don't want to answer to anybody else you want to be able to create your own personal sanctuary and that's why i see you guys accomplishing here uh sagittarius all right i do want to be suggesting to you guys at this current point in time sagittarius with this four of cups coming in here all right you might be what I want to be suggesting to you is just be a little bit more open-minded, all right? Um, I get this sense for some of you, cherry energy here. Yeah, it's like, while on one hand, you're thinking about like the gratification that you have down the road, some of you uh, Sagittarius are being a little bit too dismissive of about like what you think will be uh, uh, satisfying to you, 
all right and so what i want to be suggesting to you is just like don't blow don't blow off like an idea that you might be having because of like it might be too hard or like it might take more of a time investment that's what i really get for you sagittarius where you're just like for you like i still think that there's like some type of project something that you haven't really started yet that would be worth for you to accomplish all right I don't know i just get like the sense of where like there's some sagittarius that just needs to be a little bit more open-minded because it's like you're cutting away at the fast yes yeah, sagittarius but like you're cutting a little bit too close on some level with something here so be a little bit more open-minded because it's like for some of you sagittarius you might feel like you're not because like you don't have the education or the skill sets right now to be able to do it with ease you, you're dismissing it and I feel like you you will you're a quick you'll fa you're a fast learner Sagittarius you're a fast learner all right so um whatever that means to you guys all right we have coming in here the <laughs> come on now Saggy. we have the nine of swords the tower card as well as the death card coming in for you darling all right you guys are just doing away with things in the efforts of re reducing your anxiety Sagittarius all right queen of cups coming in here yeah that's where you're currently at Sagittarius you're just like you know what if the what you're going to be keeping in your close circle if you have to be stressing about it if you have to think like th overthink and be like all right like what are they feeling what are they thinking right you don't want to do all that you don't want to play the guessing game you want to be able to take people at face value um you want to uh work on projects that seem promising to you like you just i feel like for you Sagittarius, you just are in this process of walking away from things that just have constantly stressed you and that's what it is i think for you that's your main objective here Sagittarius, is that you don't want to end the night anymore still having all these stresses uh weighing over your head on your shoulder all right that's what i feel like is going on here it's just like you you realize that like you have become almost like a this a slave to like your anxieties to these stresses here and like that's where it is that's happening for you where you're like you put this in perspective be like you know why am i stressing out about all these other things honey all these things over here when it's not even going to be with me like two years down the road why am i why do i care so much about this relationship over here honey when i don't see anything happen like they ain't going to be with me five years down the road right and so that's why i see you guys currently at sagittarius like you're letting go of a lot here all right so um i really celebrate you guys right now y'all are going y'all are definitely um <laughs> i don't know why but it's just like the thing that i think about is just like uh this uh picking up for like like the garbage man like picking up recycling and trash like you have like a heavy heavy load this coming week for the trash man to pick up it's like you have your garbage can overloaded <laughs> right um because of like how much of fat you guys are essentially cutting from your life here so Sagittarius, you might be noticing right here uh, a card that fell out like right in between the cracks, honey. Um, so that's a page of wands coming in here. And let's get these other cards. <clears throat> oh, you guys, y'all got a couple. So Sagittarius, you guys got the four of swords, ten of cups, eight of swords, as well as the page of wands coming in here for you guys. I get for you, Sagittarius. Um, really put this focus in on continuing doing the work of cutting the fat here because what i see happening for you guys is like you reach this like personal bliss for yourself like you create this nirvana nirvana for yourself and it's through that that's when this new energy finally it's like this new energy finally has permission to new this uh to come in i don't know why i can't speak right now sagittarius but it's like this new energy finally is just like oh yes sagittarius is finally at this place of peace we can finally come in sagittarius finally made space all right you're going to be noticing things coming just like natural opportunities coming in in a much quicker pace for you here queen of wands as well i i get the sense of like traveling for some of you guys here i get the sense of for many of you such a terraces like you're leaving your comfort comfort zone and expounding on certain things here it's like because you cut away at so much fat sagittarius you now are able to just feel so much more free and like where it is that you're maneuvering and as well because of that sagittarius you guys are going to be starting to manifest new people in your life that are that are able to function beautifully with the new boundaries that you have set i know that's really specific but yeah, I feel like for many of you guys, Sagittarius, like the new energy coming in for you is just like, 
it just goes so beautifully with this new life this new environment that you create for yourself here right this makes me think so much of like you guys were just holding on to so many things from the past sagittarius that like were really weighing you down and just kept the energy stale all right and so i see you guys finally clearing house in that way and once you get rid of that stale energy these new energies come in that just it just works so much more beautifully with you like i get the sense of like new, you're going to be making new friendships in the workplace all right um, you're going to be manifesting new friendships as well, Sagittarius, from the place that sees you from the new level that you're currently at, rather than these friendships and these family members that have always seen you from this way that you were like 10 years ago, 15 years ago. It's like you're going to be attracting things from this new developed state of energy that you're at, Sagittarius. And it's just, I don't know, I get like this sense of personal satisfaction for you guys. Um, but anyway, Sagittarius, let's get into your Oracle cards for this week here. All right. You have the mouse card coming in here. You're looking overlooking some important details. So pay close attention to what's going on. Sagittarius, didn't I clock you guys earlier for this, darling? I think I did, Sagittarius. I was saying it's like be more open minded. It's like you guys were cutting away like <clears throat> you guys are just like with this newfound like energy that you're having, Sagittarius, you just are being a little bit too willy nilly with what it is that you're like cutting out and so yeah definitely just be having a closer eye you know you're making the right choices in like cutting things out but um don't make it too hard for new energy to come in all right you have the conclusions are within reach full moon and eclipse and then you have the new romantic cycle begins new moon in libra sagittarius all right and so for many of you guys it's, it's really the sense again for you truly a sagittarius i feel like you guys are completing a cycle when it comes to your social life and once you get into that completion you guys are bringing forth just new energies that really uh blend well with you and the uh, blend well with you sagittarius and the sagittarius that you are in the now all right, I don't know why I feel like I need to still put that emphasis, but um, yeah, Sagittarius, that's the weekly tarot reading that I have for you, darling. Hopefully you found some tarot cards that did resonate with you, honey. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Give this video a like and subscribe, Sagittarius. As well, darling, remember, if you want to book a private reading with me, darling, my website's linked down below, simplyvalka.com. Next to my social medias, if you do want to connect with me at a more personal level, uh, TikTok and Instagram is the same as here, darling, Simply Velka. But um, yeah, darling, I hope this reading resonated with you on some level, Sagittarius, and I can't wait to connect with you sometime in the near future. Bye, darling.